Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'll do a basic introduction to a uh, pancake coil as I see them, how I'm setting them up to do experiments. Pretty coil, which I made from speaker wire, which was joined together. So I separated the two wires, measured out three meters. Took a round magnet as the uh, center and just wrapped it round on some double-sided tape. Different video how to make them. There's a hundred ways to make them I suppose, but I'll just show you how I set them up basically. How do I set up my pancake coils? If you're going to use it as a jewel thief, you need to put the power into the center tap. And the center tap is going to come from the innermost wire and the outside wire and they need to be the different wires so when it's this situation you can see clearly this is a red wire and this is a black wire but if it's not that like that if it's like this sort of situation where you just use the same color wire I mark them to remember and when I'm doing it I connect an LED across the circuit just to double check that there's the LED doesn't light that way I know they're separate wires anyway I've got these uh, wire connectors and I connect the back up so they're all connected and I just shove one in that end and one in this end. So your positive in goes into the center tap. So I just plop them into there. No problem at all. Easy peasy. Making these um, pancake cores is quite easy actually. Not too bad. I plan to make some more um, monofiler ones because I've only got two monofilers monofiler to try and get it the same obviously it's one wire six meters long whereas this is three meters long yeah because you've got double the length anyway you've got your center tap let me plop a wire into there center tap for the positive in so that's your positive into your circuit all right now I've been I'm going to just use a 1k resistor across the tip 31 base, the base of the tip 31 and I take it from the outside of the coil take from the outside of the coil Getting there, excuse me take it from the outside wire of the coil into the base of, I'm using tip 31's not sure why I just got into them tip 31's, they've got lots of other Transistors. You could do it with a um, 2N2222 as well if you're using lower power, but I'm using 3 volts, so that's what I'm doing. So into the base there, my uh, one of my legs snapped off my um, tip 31, but luckily it was the, uh, I think it's called the collector, is it? I think it was the collector snapped off, so that was no problem. So the other wire from your pancake coil goes into the collector and then is it the emitter? The emitter goes to your negative. So if I was to hook that up now uh, it would it would do nothing. So I'll hook it up and you can see it does nothing. <laughs> hook it up. So the positive goes into the centre tap and the negative is going on to the uh, the emitter and we have absolutely nothing going on that's because we're not using it for anything are we so after that situation you're going to use another pancake coil so we'll go through it again in this situation I can simply centre tap it so what have I got inside wire just the black one to the outside wire which is the red one very straightforward inside wire and then to the black one outside wire so when you're stacking them or using them to receive the power, unless you want to do something a little bit more interesting, you'd be quite happy just to do the center tap like that, and then you've got your outputs on either side. And of course it's AC power because the tip 31 is putting out a pulsed DC. So essentially it's AC. I don't know if people are going to argue with me, but basically it's AC out so you're gonna to have to rectify the output to get if you wanted to charge a battery or something so there I've got 
Turn the tap tap to my two outs and I'm just going to grab an LED and this is the hey presto moment. It doesn't matter which way you put the LED in because it's pulse DC but this is the hey presto moment. Do we have light? Yep. <laughs> we have a light coming out of the second. Coming out of the second. I don't know if you can see it's a bit bright out here today. I just tested my, uh, well I went through my problem solving situation I realised that my TIP31 was buggered. So I haven't got a heat seek on this one, so I don't want to run it for too long. But as you can see, the LED lights, no problem. LED lights if you put it underneath, LED lights if you flip it over, yeah? Any orientation that you put this near, even sometimes LED lights not even fully on. Well obviously it's brighter if you put it fully on. The LED lights, so just to review, your pickup coil is your centre tap and your two outs are the two wires coming off. And when you're making the circuit, it's a very simple circuit to make, so simple. Your positive in is your centre tap, your negative out is the, uh, is it your meter collector? You look at a circuit diagram, you'll see it's whichever one's going to the bottom. Your base is coming off the outside, at least here I'm taking it from the outside. And my uh, other wire is going to the other leg of the tip 31C. Yeah. Basic dual thief pancake coil setup.